Hello everyone. Today's topic is uh, write a C program to check uh, that given number is perfect number or not. So first of all, what is the meaning of perfect number? That is the first thing. So in mathematics, a perfect number is a positive integer. Okay, that is equal to the sum of its positive divisor, excluding the number itself. Okay, so now in simple terms, if I say, for example, if we take number six, okay, so six is positive number, okay, and that is divisible by one, two, and three, okay. With this three number, it is possible. So now, if you add these three numbers, okay, one, two, and three, that means one plus two plus three. What answer you will get six, and the number which you have entered also is what six. So if after addition, if we are getting same number, okay, then we can call it as, or you can say then we can say that particular number is what perfect number. I will give you one more example, twenty eight. Okay, so for twenty eight, okay, so which numbers are completely divisible by twenty eight? So that is one, or uh, two, then four, then seven, and then fourteen. Okay. So now we will add fourteen plus seven, that is twenty-one. Twenty-one plus uh, four, that is twenty-five. Then twenty-five plus two, twenty-seven, and twenty-seven plus one, that is what twenty-eight. So we can say that twenty-eight is also what perfect number. So now here is the program. The first thing is hash include stdio.h and the second is hash include conio.h. After that void main function and then open the bracket. So for this program we required some variables like uh, two three variables. So here we have used uh, integer i, then um, number n o means and then sum. Okay. And after that in the next one only initial value of sum equal to what zero. Now print f enter the number, which means we are asking user that you enter one number and then with our logic we will check that number is perfect number or not. So print f enter number and scan f percent d m percent n o. Okay. So for example consider that user has entered number twenty eight. Okay, consider. Okay. Now for loop for i equal to one, i less than n o means one. Less than twenty eight, so condition is true. We know that. Then open the curly bracket. If twenty eight modulo i, that means twenty eight modulo one equal to equal to zero. Okay. So we know that here twenty eight modulo one, and we will get a remainder as zero only. That we know. So it will go inside of if statement also here. And sum. Is equal to sum plus i. First of all, the initial value of sum is what zero. That is this one initial value. Okay, so zero plus one. So now what is the new value of sum one at this point? So sum equal to what one? Then close of bracket of this if condition, and then close of bracket. Of this for loop, it indicates that you have to come here at this point. I plus plus. So increment the value of i by what one. So now the value of i is what two. Again, you check the condition two less than twenty eight. Condition is what true. Again, it will go inside of this for loop if two. Modulo, sorry, twenty-eight, not or two, because n o is twenty-eight. So twenty-eight modulo two equal to equal to what zero. So again, here also we will get remainder as what zero. So again, it will go inside of this if statement here. Now at this point, what is the latest value of sum one? It is not zero. It is one. Okay. So one plus Current value of i is what two. That means one plus two, three. So now the new value of sum is what 
थ्री क्लोज ऑफ इफ स्टेटमेंट एंड क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट ऑफ फॉर लुक इंडिकेट्स दैट वी हैव टू अगेन कम हियर एट दिस पॉइंट i plus plus so again increment the value of i by what what so now i is 3 so again 3 less than 28 again condition true again it will go inside of this for loop here 28 modulo 3 so now we know that 28 modulo 3 we will not get remainder 0 so in that case it will skip this if part okay that means your sum value will remain as it is 3 only and it will skip this part okay and then closing bracket of for loop again it means i plus plus so now i is what 4 so again 4 less than 28 again condition true again go inside of that for loop again we will check for if condition 28 modulo 4 so here we will get remainder 0 for sure and therefore it will go inside of that if statement so now here sum equal to sum plus i means sum is 3 we know so 3 plus 4 so now what will be the new value of sum 7 because 3 plus 4 is what 7 so sum equal to 7 and likewise it will be inside of this for loop till the number 27 okay and after that it will come out from this from this for loop so after for loop if sum means the latest value of sum okay if sum equal to equal to a number which you have entered that is 28 means if answer of sum is also 28 and if number entered by you is also 28 if this two are same then we can say it is what which type of number perfect number otherwise it is which type of number it is not a perfect number so output enter number 28 and you will get the output as 28 is what perfect number thank you